What's good? Once again, we're back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Um, I'm going to react to, uh, what was the title of this video? It says, Joe Budden fires at Nori over Kanye West drink champs interview. Let's. Uh, we're going to see what direction he goes. I, I definitely went in on Nori myself on a couple of videos. I don't know if Joe Budden is going to go in the same direction as me, but before we see what direction he goes, we're going to give you a word from one of our sponsors. Oops, my bad. Oh, here we go. That lit, that, lit, that, slap. that slap. It is that one. That one. That egg. Egg bite talking about this new drink. drink. Like, like, that's that turn. That, turn. that, lit, that lit. That slap. That slap. It is that one. That, one. that egg. Egg bite talking Talk about this new drink. drink. They like, they like, do you dizzle? Yes, I dizzle. Check out dizzlebrand.com. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your dizzle on ice, and it's nice. Check them out. Go to our locations on dizzlebrand.com, and you can order your very own bottle or bottles of dizzle premium luxury liqueur. Must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included, and below that is actual Locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas, and 50 locations in Arkansas as we speak right now. And the Dizzle Brand merch is also available on um, DizzleBrand.com. Just go to the store. They got the hats, T-shirts, and sweatshirts, and hoodies. It's hoodie season is coming as it's getting colder, especially here in North Carolina. Um, Okay, let's pull up this video and see what... Joe Buttons and the crew had to say. Kanye West. And this is this is this is why. Listen, man, Nori, this is I want to start with I love you. And I think we have the power to grow. <laughs> but all you niggas ever gotta do is look around. Y'all have so many talks about red flags and what the spy that all you ever gotta do is look around. Wherever you want to begin, Donald Sterling lost his business because of things he said in private. Mm-hmm. He was recorded. It went out. Business associates could not stand by that. The NBA can't stand by this. Mm-hmm. This has to go. Facts. Colin Kaepernick took a knee. Whoa, we got contracts in place, buddy. You can't do that right this second. You have to go. You can lose your business. All you got to do is look around. Cardi B is suing Tasha K for four million, three million. I want my money. Tasha K done moved to Africa, came back. She took the fourteen hundred out the bank. They going crazy. But Cardi wants her money. Hey, Fifty did the same thing to Tiara Marie. There are cases popping up. Oh. The throwing the Rico shit that's going on in Atlanta and with my brother uh, Surf that we'll get to later on this pod, right? But what I'm saying is y'all are being surveilled. Mm. That's what I'm saying. And we are living in a time where your words can have great impact unlike we've ever seen before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are in a time where the blog sites now, the, the ones that are making a lot of money, have to put, hey... We don't know what we're talking about. We just posting some shit. We're not responsible. We're not liable. We don't believe in this. We don't condone or hate speech. Or They got to put all that shit. And if you needed no other benchmark, Alex Jones just last week Whew. got ordered to pay a billion dollars for that Sandy Hook conspiracy theory shit that he was spewing. Mm-hmm. Then the Breakfast Club interview comes out where Charlemagne says... Hey, I told you not to do that interview. Oh, that's good to know. And that was a week in advance. Let me pop the brakes. That's definitely good information to know. That's that's one of the big issues with this. Like, you knew Kanye was ruffling feathers beforehand. And you decided to still interview him like he wasn't going to ruffle feathers still. And 
that's where the cowardness and the puppetness comes in. So let's keep it moving and see what else Joe Buttons has to say. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, huh? Come on, Buttons. Come on, Buttons video. Let's go. Oh, that's good to know. And that was a week in advance. And then, and we had a private talk off air last week. That'll remain off air. Mm -hmm. But then you took your ass over there to LeBron and them, mm -hmm. Mav and them. You tried to sit down with some black people that was associated with some white people. Maybe you didn't factor that part, that whole HBO <laughs> part in. But you went over there and you turned up. But at that level of broadcasting, and I'm on a rant. At that cool. level of broadcasting, there are people in place, systems in place that we will cross every T and dot every I. So we don't know what happened. But let's pretend that Mav and them really did want that interview to go out. Somebody else looked over that mm -hmm. footage mm -hmm. with a fine, like a fine tooth comb and said, we can't do that. Now, in my experience in this business, that is that would be legal teams that mm -hmm. these companies have, mm -hmm. HR that this company has, and whatever hierarchy is in place where their opinion is valued. Mm -hmm. A lot of balls dropped there on the side of revolt, nori. And to make matters worse, you couldn't have been more excited. Oh, but anyway, back in the timeline. HBO says, nah, we good. So now he runs right to Dory, who welcomes him with open arms. Black-owned, revolt. You said it right on air. Yo, they might, can you even run this? They just snatched me off of here. Y'all put out that promo picture where all of y'all look shit face. Mm -hmm. All of y'all look shit face. They were definitely drunk. By I was that on <laughs> that ba Wyoming balcony like, holy shit, it's about to go <laughs> down. Like literally down. He said literally down. Yo, I get it. It's drink champs. This one episode... This would have been episode one of Sober Champs. <laughs> this would have been my only episode nah, they, they where did that we with somebody else. not drinking at all. Right. You That's see the shit that Kanye been doing. You see what he on. You know he coming here. You know he's been pulled everywhere else. I got a certain respect for him. He got a respect for me. Let's try to get this done. So cool. Granted, he come do the interview. You tape it all. He says wild shit. Somebody in that room is supposed to edit that out. Mm -hmm. Hey, and I know about, because I don't want to be a contradiction. Oh, well, we all Hypocrite. contradictions. Yeah. Yeah. We all of that. We hypocrites. I understand a thing or two about things leaking into a broadcast that you didn't mean to be there. Mm -hmm. That happens. It does. It does happen. Especially when you try and turn it around quickly. It happens. That's a large part of why I try to do this thing myself, because I'm tired of niggas coming to you talking about something you said in a broadcast. <laughs> but that happens. My problem with that is there are certain interviews that it don't happen with, that it cannot happen with. When I go sit down with Nikki, boy, it's a million eyes that go over that footage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should take a while to come out. Mm -hmm. Time stamps. Mm -hmm. We need transcripts. Send it to the label. Mm -hmm. Send it to the publicist. Send it to the lawyer. Send it back. These are yellow marks. That's what happens at that level of person, and Kanye is that level of person. Absolutely. If not greater. Ball is dropped. Ball is dropped. The ball is dropped. So many mistakes here. Nori, you are Nori. I don't give a fuck that Kanye came in with his people and said, hey, if some shit go wrong, we get up and walk out. So Come say it. Hey, say that to me. Say that right here. There's the door. I'm going to iron my outfit for that. I, I bought a special cologne just for this moment of you walking out. I'm going to spend the rest of this interview trying to get you to walk out. That's a moment. Facts. You shitting me? Facts. I'm not about to cater to this bullshit you saying. 
right? And then let's flip that because they love each other. See, and that was my point with Adam. All right, let me pump the brakes real quick because what I'm seeing is Joe Buttons is basically calling out the hypocrisy that Norwich should have known better in the stat and third. But Joe Budden's seeming like a coward himself. Like he he's not willing to say what he wants to say because the problem is is these cats work for somebody. They're employed by somebody and they're puppets on the string. You know, fortunately I'm self employed. Um this podcast doesn't have a deal with anybody. And even if you cancel my podcast, you know, I still am a self employed business owner. You know, and good luck with canceling me on that because, you know, my customers know better. Um, Yeah, Joe, this is a really dangerous and scary spot we're getting to where this is a literal attack on free speech. This is going to result into censoring Uh, more than just content creators and podcasters. This is going to also result into um, basically censoring movies, probably music, um, censoring people. I mean, people are already censored in the workplace. You really can't, you know, say what you want in a workplace at any point given moment because you can get fired by saying the wrong things and that's the problem here these cats are scared to lose their deals um which shows me they're not confident enough in their brands that somebody else won't pick them up and give them a deal um they're cowards they're puppets i can't respect it whatsoever i mean all these cats are in the hip-hop field in the realms of hip hop where hip hop has said the most degrading shit on the fucking planet. Um, the most, some of the most free speaking entertainers on the planet have been hip hop artists. And now we're trying to censor this stuff. Cause that's the thing by you censoring Kanye, you know, by just speaking, now you're giving them the ammunition to censor his music. And once they they have the ammunition to censor one person's music, they can censor it all. And if you don't think so, you're dumbing in a bag of bricks. That's why I got to keep speaking on this topic. Because this censorship is, this is what's going to cause a civil war. Things like this. Things like this are going to cause civil wars, trying to take away free speech, trying to censor free speech, um, trying to take away the guns, too. And that's just icing on the cake, taking away our guns, too. Because the guns are supposed to... The thing is, the right to bear arm is supposed to be basically put in place to overthrow monarchies and dictatorships that try to control us like they are now, you know? Control every aspect of our life. It's enough they're spying on us with our cell phones and and your um, Google, uh, your your Alexas and your your Google Talks and all that. It's it's enough they're doing that, you know. Or you go to a restaurant, they're tracking all your movements. Now they want to tell you what to say and how to think. Oh fuck that shit. That will lead to civil war. That leads to civil war. Revolutions, a civil war built on. People trying to control what you think and what you say. So um, I don't even want to get more into this Joe Buttons. All he's doing is calling out the hypocrisy, but he's a coward too. He's a puppet too. Uh, Somebody's pulling his strings and he's scared to say what he really said. Cause he said, Kanye talking about, you know, I'm not going to let you rock your bullshit here. First of all, um, I'm going to, say it once, twice, three times, a lady. Um, what Kanye said about black people being the real Jews and is Israelites um, is facts. Well, I know, I know this much. It wasn't Caucasians. I know this much. It wasn't Caucasians. 
And I know Jerusalem has been conquered by Arabs and French and English and no telling who else. No telling who else in history that's conquered it. It's been conquered at least four or five times. Well, that means the people that have occupied it last that call themselves Israels and Jews are not really from that area. They just conquered it and they're the descendants of the ancestors. So, you know, that's the thing. They don't want nobody speaking of facts and truth. And there's a lot of people that's, that's, it's not like that's never been said before that black people are the real Israelites. That's been said a, a trillion fucking times. It's just now we in this sensitive moment where you can't speak truth. Actual real history. Real truth. You know? Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, one side is accusing the other for whitewashing history. And the other side is pretty much doing the exact same thing. You know, it's like alligators eating alligators, you know, like, what are we talking about here, man? So, yeah, man, um, as a musician, as a podcast content creator, as a person who po posts my thoughts on social media, I'm always going to go against the grain of people trying to tell me what I have to say and how I have to think, you know, that, no. And, and if I thought like everybody else and I, th and, and I talked like everybody else or said what everybody else said, I wouldn't be self-employed. I wouldn't be self-employed for the last decade. I'd be still working at some dead end job that's going to get you nowhere, you know, that's like I was thinking about today. Like, what's the the number one problem with college is people go to college just to get a job. They're not going to college to try to start their own business and become self-employed. Some are, but the majority are just going to college just to get a job, just to work for somebody. That's the problem right there. Everybody should try to attain self-employment and try to build their own business first. And then if that doesn't work and that doesn't su su succeed, then you just go with a job, you know? Because, yes, everybody can't be successful business owners, but if you don't even try, I mean, what are we talking about here? You know, you're always going to be a slave to the system when you're an employee. You know, it's like what's going on in WNBA. They're like, oh, we don't make as much as the NBA. That's because the NBA is making billions and they're making playing their players millions. And y'all ain't even making a profit and they're still paying their players thousands because they probably only generate millions of dollars and probably the low millions, very low millions. I guarantee the WNBA probably isn't generating, but like, 50 million or less, you know, I could look it up real quick. I'm going to say 50 million or less. How much income does the WNBA make, generate? Let's go with that. How much did it generate? 12.3 million. They only make that. I, I was way over. They only make 12 million a year. And they're, at, they're talking about we should get paid as much as the NBA. Stop it, man. Once again, that is misinformation. That is exact. That is the exact definition of misinformation. Lies, misinformation. You know, and this ain't the misinformation podcast. This is the common sense podcast, the Paul Pickett podcast. And this ain't the college degree podcast, the book smarts podcast, once again, this is a common sense podcast. Common knowledge, common sense, and common knowledge of history. You know? So, once again, I'll thank you for tuning in, Paul Pickett Podcast. Um, Nori, Diddy, Joe Buttons, um, and Jordan Lucas. 
you're all a bunch of cowards and you're all a bunch of puppets. And you're literally helping and assisting in censoring hip hop music. Cause that's that's what it's gonna lead to. It's leading to that direction. Killer Mike said the same thing I said on on the Charlemagne the God show. Um, without really calling out names like me. He said that y'all just giving ammunition. Watch what you ask for, because this is going to lead to you being censored first. Diddy, Joyner, um, Nori, they're going to be censoring y'all cats first. (laughs) Once again, thank you for tuning in, and I'm out.